I lost count of how many times clients ask me for a Gmail integration with Trello as good and as powerful as Cardbox. This are real Gmail messages inside a card. You can read them, you can reply to them, not only you, but all the board members. Let me show you how to install it and how to use it. Cardbox is a power up, so let's go to the power ups list and install it. Now there's a new icon here, it looks like the M from Gmail. Let's click on it and finish the installation. Sign in with Google. Follow all the steps to connect both accounts, Gmail and Cardbox, and you end up with a screen like this one. These are the same emails that are on the account on the upper left corner of the screen. We can add more accounts there, we'll, we'll get there soon. And we'll also come back to this screen to talk about the settings. For now, let's go back to Trello and attach an email. Let's try this one. This is already very good, but there's so much to it. So please bear with me for a moment. This was an email sent by me to Mr. Fields. Here's Mr. Fields' Gmail inbox and here is the email. Let's click here and reply. Now let's go back to Trello. Did you see it? If we open this card, here's the email, we can open it, read both messages and even reply to it. A very important point here is that the account on the upper left corner of the screen is the one that replied to that email, but you soon see that we can change that on the settings. We can have more accounts here and we can allow one person to reply in name of the other. We'll get there. If we go to Mr. Fields' account and take a look at the board, you see that the card is there, of course, but inside the card we have the same email messages. And since we are here on Mr. Fields' Trello account, let me show you how to add another account. So just click here, sign in again, and now we have two email accounts connected to the board. However, because of the way Cardbox is set now, Mr. Fields doesn't have access to my other email messages. He can only read the messages that I attach to cards. Again, we can change that and I'll soon show you how. And talking about cards, when we are reading or replying to an email, we have access to card controls. Look at this, we can edit the card from here. We can change the name of the card, add a description, change the due date, assign it to another person, and even move that card to another list. Everything is in the same place. I love it. You already know that we can click here to attach an existing message to the card, but you can also click here and compose a message that will be automatically attached to this card. Even if you don't finish the message, you get the draft attached to the card. Clicking the three dots, you can reply to a message, mark as unread, remove, or view on Gmail. If you need to compose an email that you don't want attached to the card, no problem. You can click here, compose your email without leaving the Trello board, and this email will not be attached to that card. Okay, let's go to the settings, clicking on the M again, and I'll show you everything that you can set up. First, you can disconnect an account from here. You can also change the sharing. If you want everyone on the board to be able to reply using that email address, you have to select this option here, everyone can reply. Then there is everyone can compose, and even everyone can view the inbox. But be careful, this is full access to your email. It changes the behavior I told you about in the beginning of the video. With this set, 
all the board members will be able to read all your emails. Let's skip this one for a moment because this third option here is related to the first one. This is the place where you see the other board members and how they set the sharing option. Let's go to this member and you see what I mean. When we get there, it will be set as sharing off. Okay, here we are, same board, but from Mr. Field's point of view. First, if I click here, I can now see all the email messages. And now if I go to settings, sharing all features. Okay, let's go back to the other account and take a look at setup inbox list. Here you can create a rule to automatically add cards to a new inbox list that will be created by card box. You can use words to filter those email addresses or you can use Google's Gmail rules. If you are familiar with the operators, you'll be able to create very specific rules. And we have here ignore spam, ignore the sent folder and remove filter. Down here, you can select the format of the card's title, sender-subject, subject, or only sender. I'm going to cancel this, and let's take a look at the last part here. These are board settings, okay? Here we have new cards appear at the bottom. You can change this to newest card at the top, or do not order the cards. This is the new badge that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I think this is a very good option to keep on. The other one will automatically create a comment every time a message is sent. Let me show you. Here is a comment that was automatically created. Let's go back to the settings. Some of my clients archive many cards, and if this is your case, you should check this option because every time you get a reply to an email that is in an archived card, Cardbox will unarchive that card. And finally, you can choose a list and delete all the cards from that list, but be very careful because this cannot be undone. Like I said in the beginning, this is a very powerful power up, and if you need to connect Gmail and Trello, you should try it. It is very good. And if you don't need but know someone who might benefit from a power-up like this, please share the video with them. Thanks for watching. See you soon.